hey check this out I'm gonna go through the different um, ways or different components for building a dynamic block uh, today we're just going to take a look at the move uh, parameter or, or action uh, for a block so this is what I have on my screen is a one by one and a half unit uh, box polyline and first you need to create or turn it into a block so if if I do a B enter uh, for the uh, keyboard stroke we have um, I'm gonna call this say culvert and pick a point now when I pick a point in creating a block and I press enter that's picking the zero zero location in the block when um, when it creates it so with that um, I want to select my objects so I pick the objects press enter and I want to convert to a block so this stays in the drawing as a block so I say okay and now this is a block and if we pull out our properties of that it's a block reference and the name is culvert so if we want to edit this we simply grip it and by gripping it it gives us the name of the block when we do a BE is the uh, keyboard shortcut for block editor <clears throat> and we see that it's highlighting the culvert already we say OK and it takes us to our block editing space in here there is a uh, block authoring palette and uh, to do that you go to your block editors ribbon and you can pull the authoring palette from there uh, this will come up and you'll notice that there are parameters and there's actions for your actions to work you need to set a parameter so in this case we're going to just pick a point uh, parameter and I'm gonna pick the midpoint of this and this doesn't really matter it just kind of gives it you can name these because if you end up getting a block that has a, a bunch of different um, pr uh, parameters you're gonna want to give them specific names so that you know what you're picking um, and then we want to set the action so if we go to the action tab we go and we're just gonna do a move today so if we pick move the first thing you'll notice on the command line is that as select parameter so we pick the parameter and then it says select the object in this case this is very simple basic but if you had a complex block you don't have to pick the whole block you can pick just pieces or parts but make sure that you get your parameter so that that moves with the information that you're that you're moving so we've created the uh, the move action and then we're going to just save the block and test the block so we're in the block editor tests the block and it goes to a block testing space so with that I just do a zoom extent so I find it and if I grip it you'll notice that I have a little grip here if I grip that and I move it this is the insertion point of that block but now you have a gripping uh, a grip for moving you've added an action to this block that you can move just this box so if I had other information that was out here and you just wanted to move this box you could do that just by picking that grip and uh, so just to wrap this up we go ahead and close the block editor save the changes to the culvert and again here's the block and it does what we want it to do the other thing is and, and this is pretty cool is if you say start another drawing or you have another drawing and you want to bring that block into it we can go find that block highlight it do a control C go back to our drawing do a control V and it puts that block right in there and it's functional and working properly so uh, subscribe uh, send me a comment and uh, I'm gonna try to get through the rest of these actions and uh, hopefully help you guys uh, create some pretty powerful dynamic blocks. Thanks.